Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to City Skylines. I'm just having a look at this one down here, because the, the last flight, we, the, the, you know, the rocket went out, but then it was cancelled, which I felt was a bit of a shame, really. Um, yeah. So, our city is growing back up again. We have a bit of a demand for some commercial buildings. We don't have any demand for, um, what do you call, uh, industrial buildings. We have no demand at all for that. And we have very, very little demand for housing. I wouldn't have thought we'd get any demand for housing because this is all down here is already marked out as housing. So we're not going to be getting much in the way of demand for that. We've got our little on and off ramps down here for this one. I've moved those around a little bit. We've got a few changes up here. I've moved these around a little bit and I'm hoping that all the traffic will be able to run through this without any problems whatsoever. Doesn't necessarily mean that it will be able to do that. I'm just hoping. I'm, I'm just just hoping. That's all. Let's see what I will do. Oh right, if I've got housing all the way down here. I would actually like to swap some of this over. We'll go to upgrade, and I want to go to that one. No, I don't. I want to go to that one, and I want to change this to soundproof barrier, all the way down here like this. And we'll also soundproof this while we're at it. We'll do that. And there was one other thing that I wanted to do, and I'd have wanted to take some slip road from here. And I want to go with that one there, and take this out of here, and I want it to go just onto that road like that, I think, really. Just do it like that. There. So we've got, we got a slip road there, because that just keeps going. That doesn't need to stop. And then I've just got this little one that comes out here, and then they can come back over and onto there if they want to. It might just make life a little bit easier for us and keep everything moving. This down here, we've got six lane on here. Whereas that is highway on that bit, which actually runs faster. But I thought that having this on six lane seemed to keep it moving a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know if I've got that right or not. Um, it seems to be slower coming out of the city here. But overall, it's not too bad. We'll see as the traffic builds up. I've still got this area in the middle right here that's not very good. And my main thought is... I'm going to redesign all of this. I'm going to do this completely different. We do have a little bit of a barn fire going on here, which is, is, is not not ideal. But um, I'm confident that the fire engine there can deal with it. I'm out, I have absolute supreme confidence in our fire engine. Why is the tractor just pulled up like that? Right, yeah, they're dealing with that. They are dealing with that, and they are doing a wonderful job. So we've got all of this area, all this land that is being built up, but I have a lack of commercial buildings, and we had this issue before. Slight lack of commercial buildings meant that we weren't getting all of our goods being sold, and that was something we wanted to work on. But we're now... Our population is far higher than it's ever been. We're, we're, we're well, a good 1,500 people more than we've had at any point in our past. So we're going to just need to go through and check our overlays and make sure we've got everything. So electricity is absolutely fine. We got, we're got um, perfect on that. Um, sewage drainage. We're about 100,000 away from that. The incineration plant is on fire. That's not very good. Uh, healthcare. Healthcare is now down to 190 sick people and 7,000 out of 12,000 buried. Deceased 40. Right. That's, that's fine. That's, they're, they're doing just fine now. Fire coverage in the city. Okay, F hazard is 21%. So we've got some fire hazard up here, but I think that there is definitely room for some serious improvement on this. And we've also got more traffic building over here than I first realised. I didn't know that we had this much of an issue with traffic. So um, I'm actually going to put a big fire station in here. Stuff the biggest fire station in here that I can, like that. So that will help that area up there. And it should also help this down here as well. Um, where else have we got fire? we got fire issue down here on this road. But I don't think there's a lot that I can do about that one. We might just have to kind of leave that one just to it. And that is a bit of an issue. And we've got more fire over here. Now, we should really introduce some sort of policy in a district over there. That's generally the best approach on that one. Uh, this up here... I'm going to go for a, four, a, a small fire station here, and this will help this one here. Now, that is one loop that goes all the way around. So I've actually got all of these 
I need one more road coming out of there. I've done that badly, I think. I need to go to there, and I'm going to go to that one, and I want that to be a crossroads there with that one. I'm going to go straight in there like that. Right. That, I think, would be better so that we've got the option for them to move out of there if they want to. They're not just coming up this end. That might just be a teensy little bit better. Fire. Right. Now, if I plonk that one down there, that is going to allow them to deal with most issues that come up. Right up through the houses up here and also them as well. See? Look at that. It's already hugely improved it. Perfect. Now, Policia. Policia, we don't have much in the way of Policia at the moment. And if I put that one there, hopefully that will help deal with that one as well. There we go. It might just enable the... Oh, no, the power's not quite enough. I need just... We'll wait. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to leave it. Um, and, yeah, we, we've got plenty of power. So back to the police. Police coverage over all of the rest of the map is looking pretty swish. So we don't need to worry about that. Now, elementary. We've got... 3,500 eligible students and we have got 3,300 in capacity. I'm going to put a elementary school down over here somewhere. Uh, I can't put it next to the road. I can't put it in there. There's not enough room. There is just enough room right there next to the fire station. So I'm going to drop one in there and that should allow them to go to school. Eligible 9,000 for high school. Capacity 6,000 at present so we could really do with boosting the high school and that one i'm going to do by plonking this down here in the middle of the farming district and i'm also going to remove this farming district completely and i'm going to turn that into housing and commercial zoning that's um and i'm also hoping that is going to help with how this city you know all the road layout because we got the extra roads coming from the other side i think we need to remove the farming from there altogether and I think that is just... I just think it's going to be better for us. Uh, four and a half thousand university. We've got eligible five thousand. So I could do with... Did I put a high school in there? Please tell me I put a high school in the right place. High school. Capacity six thousand. Elementary. Three thousand. I, I didn't put a high school in there, did I? I? I put the wrong one in there, didn't I? That, that was very stupid. I'm going to refund that one. Destroy. Capacity should go down to three thousand six hundred. There we go. We're still doing fine. I'm going to go to that one. And that's the one that I wanted to put in here. But it won't... Oh, yes, it will. It will allow me to put it in there. That one can go in there like that. And I've got a little bit of extra space. So then we go to university. Uh, eligible 5,300. Capacity is just the one university at 4,000. So we will need to put in another university here somewhere. So we'll stick one of those in... I've no idea. I have absolutely no idea where I want to put this university. What are these? Space occupied. These are all space occupied, so I can't actually put one in there. Can't put one up there. Can't put one along here. No room, no room here anywhere. I can't, like, hover one up above the cliff. That doesn't work. Can't dig it into the cliff there. That's all commercial buildings down there. I can't fit it in. I could actually try and put one in here if I remove that road. Or maybe, no, I can't quite put one in there either. Just not, we, we literally, we're just out of enough room. I think this is the answer. Right here, I can't put it there. And I can put it up that side. So I could actually, I could put it right next to the um, school, or I could put it over this side. I'll put it over this side. So there we go, we now have a capacity of 9,000 for university. High school capacity 7,000. Really? Okay, uh... High school student capacity is only a thousand. I need more high schools. I actually need more high schools than I've got. And I genuinely don't know where I'm going to put them. Where on earth am I going to put a high school? Put one in there. That's the problem with this road here. I'm, if I change that from industrial to residential and commercial, it's going to make a massive difference on how all of that is performing. I'm going to put a high school over here. Actually, going to bring it round a little bit. Oh. There. I put that high school there, and we have some buildings out each side of it. 
and that will allow more people. So we've got a capacity of 8,000. I'm not going to go any higher than that yet. I will come back to that one. Uh, parks and plazas, we've got nothing down here. We've got some stuff on fire down there. I will plonk in the odd park and plaza here somewhere just to, you know, so that people can stay happy. I can't put that in there, but I can put it over this side. I'm going to put that one there. So there's a few people that are happy. Uh, botanical garden. Um, what's this here? Floating cafe. Entertainment 50. That's not very good. Uh, Japanese garden. That one's actually pretty good. And it's quite small and compact as well. So we'll put that one in. That one is going to go... Oh, I see. Right. That one's going to go right there on that side. And hopefully that one will be all right. So there is more capacity to keep people happy and entertained and so on and so forth. Right. Next up. We want to go here to Hawthorne Park. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove Hawthorne Park completely. That is all going to go. So this is no longer agricultural zone. That is now all gone. Next up, I'm going to go here and I am going to dezone all of the industrial zone that I've got here. So you want to do that. You know what? It might be quicker if I just do it like this. I'm going to dezone all of this up through here. And dezone all of that there. And then I'm also going to dezone all of this in here as well. I don't want any of that left. I've got Hawthorne Park in there. That is agricultural zone in there. I quite like the idea of having that as agricultural zone in the middle of the roundabout, but none anywhere else. That is actually pretty good. I like that idea a lot. So I will go through here and I'll remove all of this. This is no longer going to be anything at all. It does look like I've just removed the only source of power to all of the industrial zoning over the other side. Uh... Have I? Or have I? I think I have. I've removed all of the power over to that side. Right, we've... Oh, hang on. City needs more water. Yeah, I've got... Oh, I know why I got power issues. Because of it over here. Right, let's, let's go with the power first. And we'll deal with that issue first. If I bring that one there, like that. It's going to go across there. Then you're going to cross that bit, like that, and then that's going to come into there, like that. So we've joined that one back in. That should be all okay. Right. Power should go back. Any second now. Any second now. I've just joined the power back in. Should go along there. Oh. The only connect. Oh, no, I do have a connection across the river right here, and they are all fine. They're all... Yeah, it's all being taken care of. Those are coming back online. There goes the power. Okay, we've, we've dealt with that issue. Right. Next up, I want to come back into here. And I need commercial and resident... Yeah, commercial and residential zoning. So we'll start off with commercial zoning. And that is going to be this all in here. I prefer to use the fill tool if I can. Uh, so I will fill all of this here like that. That is commercial zoning in there. And this is also going to be commercial zoning. Like that. And then these in here as well. That's all there. Plus this. And this is that I'm deliberately using the low density commercial zoning. I'll take that one. I won't take any more than that. Right. And that's fine. So then I'm going to take some high density commercial. That's going to go into this area right here in the middle. And also this one here. So I've got quite a bit of high density commercial there. And then I'm also going to take office. Actually, no. I want this here. This one here is going to be office space. I could do with some more office space. Let's get rid of that. There. Right. Now I can make this into office space. Like that. All of it is going to be office there, and I'm also going to do a load of offices over here. Yeah, look at all this office space that we got coming up. That's looking better. That's looking much better. 
So we got that there, and then I'm going to take some high-density residential, and that is going to go in there next to that little bridge, and also high-density residential there. That is going to be high-density residential. This here next to the road like this, this is going to be low-density residential zoning on there, and also along this side here is going to be residential zoning. So we've got some more residential coming in there that's going to be moving all the way around. Most of this is commercial zoning. i got lots and lots of commercial zoning here. Plenty now for everybody. And I'm hoping that that is also going to help out a little bit with our issues with these roads. Now I have... That's two-way there. This is all two-way road that we've got here, except for that one. That's one way there, and that's one way there. The other problem we got is I've turned that is one way in and that's one way in. So the only way they go into here, the only way for them to get back out again is across this bridge all the way over here, around and then up and in this way. And that to me is not necessarily a good thing. I'm thinking we need to get rid of this bridge altogether. If I get rid of that bridge, I got to do something else here. And I can't upgrade that one. And I can't upgrade that one. Oh, actually, I can. I can upgrade that one. There is a way. Where there is a will, there is a way. And we have the will, so we will find the way. I want a large road. I want that one. Right there. And I'm going to go to that. And I cannot upgrade. Because the space is already occupied. So we can take this one here, which is the bit that is already in the way. And that is a firehouse. I'm going to move that one up that way a bit. Like that. And I'm hoping that that is going to change this one round. So then I can go back to here. And we've got our upgrade. And I it's still space occupied. Right, okay. What are we occupied with now? Who are you? That's the crematorium there. So I want to move you up over... You know what? I'm going to drop you in that corner. You can go up there. So what else have we got? Rosewood residence. And this is a daffodil residence. Okay, that's fine. I should now be able to upgrade this road. And I can go into there. And I can take that. That is six lane. Two way road. Going into there. Space already occupied. That's the bridge there that's occupied. I can't do anything about that bridge. That one's already occupied. And then this one over here. This is occupied by that one. That's one way coming in. And that is two way on that one. And I'm quite happy for that one to stay as two way I think. I think that's going to be beneficial for us. So then we go back to here, and we can put that one back as that. And this is high density. And I think that's all we need to do there. Let's come out of that. Right, now what do we got? Can I get rid of that bridge now? That's going to put all traffic coming into here, coming out of there. And I don't really want... I like the idea that with the traffic can move around quite a bit. There is going to be a lot of traffic coming out around this one. Which is it's not brilliant, but it's still... It is still coming out, and I figure that's a, probably a fairly good thing. This here, we don't want to do any changes there, so I can't really do anything else about that road. But that is just a residential road up through there, so it doesn't need to have loads and loads of access. All of this is residential zoning up here, so we don't, again, we don't need loads and loads of access to it. That seems to be working quite well. And then we've got all of the commercial zoning here that should now, in theory, start to build up. Uh, what do we got? Um... What is that symbol that is flashing? That one. Not enough educated workers. Right, that's fine. We don't have enough educated workers. The education is on its way. And then if you look over here, the abandoned buildings are getting fewer and fewer and further between. Not enough buyers for your products. Now, I was told that not enough buyers for the products, that actually means we don't have enough commercial zoning. And we have just built another big chunk of commercial zoning. We've got some... Uh, office buildings as well. What did we actually build? I can't remember. I got two lots of office buildings, but I've also added in all of this commercial zoning up through here, which I figured is probably a bit of a step in the right direction. I've got a load of pollution coming from those uh, garbage plants there, which is not ideal, but I'm still hoping that it's probably going to be all right. So the one thing we're going to have to watch is garbage over here. What is the garbage like over here? We've got an incineration plant. They do seem to be picking up all right. They do seem to have enough collection here at the moment that they can get through to it all. There is one down there that isn't being collected from. We've got one. Just one. The rest of it, 
does seem to be alright. The rest of it does seem to be doing well. And now that the city is getting busy again, traffic coming up here is getting just ridiculous. So now we need to start looking at um, possible alternatives to this. Now I've been told that there is a different add-on that like does some changes to traffic. So this game becomes less of traffic simulator and more of um, you know everything else simulator. Which I think is absolutely brilliant. I like this idea. I don't just want to play traffic simulator all the time. I'd like to boost up a whole load of extra things. We're up to 1.7 million. We got 54,000 people in the city. Let's now have a look at that one. Uh, monuments reach a population of 90,000. So let's have a look through and see if there's anything in here. There is nothing in there. Uh, there's harbors. That is government offices. We won't worry about those. Three incidents of cemetery. We're working on that one. And then this one up here, we've got the Mall of Moderation. Average garbage piling per building, at least 25. We will do that at some point, but I don't want to do that at the moment. So, uh, tax office. This one here. Work tirelessly. Civil servants work tirelessly in tax office to optimize the... Excuse me. Uh, optimize taxes to your liking. Requirement for building the fusion power plant. So let me take the tax office over here. And where are we going to plonk a tax office? I reckon we could actually put a tax office in here somewhere. We could actually make use of this. We could put this one right in here like this. That's, that's going to take up too much space, I think. Um, can I put it down along here somewhere? There. The perfect spot for our tax office. Right there. That's where it's going to be. It hasn't changed the colouring of any of those whatsoever. But anyway, that doesn't matter. So we got a tax office here. This one is an airport. And this one is crime rate over 50%. That's one we'll do at some point in the future. 10,000 squares of office zone. Uh, weekly education expenses, 20,000. Next up, we've got those two. We did the opera house. Uh... It doesn't say what we had to do to get the Opera House. And I, I really don't like that it does that. Right, unemployment over 50%. We need a lot more people to be able to get that one. And then here we've got seven universities. This one is 20,000 squares of commercial zoning. We're about halfway on that one. Oh, okay. we got Science Center. We haven't yet built. We want to build that one. That is 20,000. So where are we going to put a Science Center? I want somewhere good to plonk a Science Center. I don't think there's enough room in our little area of them in here. I could always just plonk it on the outside. This is like our main touristy spot down here. And it does seem to be working well as a primary tourist spot. So I'm going to dump that one right on the very edge over there. And we've now got the science center. That is 120 people. Upkeep 320. Requirement for building the fusion power plant. Where is this fusion power plant? We keep seeing all these requirements for it. Um, Theatre of Wonder. I need three universities for that one. We're, we're busy working on this one. Right. 300 city service buildings. We're about halfway. Uh, 5,000 children in elementary schools. We've got 3,000. So, yeah, we've got a few more schools to build for that one. The Expo Center we've done. Uh, high interest tower. I'm not really sure what we needed to do to unlock it, but we have unlocked it. Um, people, we're hovering around zero at the moment. Zero change. Have we, like, gotten all the people here that we can or something? I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Uh, this one here is a very big building. And that doesn't fit in there. Let's see if we can fit that one somewhere else. Where could we go and put this? What is this? The high interest tower. It is indeed high. Many companies like to have offices in it because of the lovely view. Requirement for the building medical center. Where could I put this? I could try and put it in there. I got um, too much stuff in the way for that one. Uh, I could try and put it in. It doesn't it? No, it's not going to fit in there. It's got to go sideways on to the road. It, it can't like go on the outside edge. Uh, I could put that one down there. On the outside edge of that one. Like that. I could move it right the way along. There, and that's in the commercial district. Uh, entertainment, 90. Noise pollution. Visitor capacity, 300. I could put it there, actually. 
Bring it up this way as far as I possibly can, which is right there. So it goes right in the middle of this new residential zone. Do I want to put that in a residential zone? I don't think it matters, to be honest. I honestly don't think it makes much difference where I put all of these things. I mean, maybe it does. Maybe I've got that completely wrong, but I didn't think it did. I don't think it makes a huge amount of difference. i got two more buildings I can build at the moment. I've got a stadium, which is Entertainment 150, Visitor Capacity 600. And it's actually quite small. It is actually surprisingly small. Where can we put that one? I can't put it there. I can't put it in the middle here. There's not quite enough room to put it in there. There isn't enough room in there. Uh, is there enough there? I've got a garden there, so there's not quite you know, I can't quite squeeze it into that spot. I thought that would actually be a really good bit. Uh, slope too steep up there, and it's just out of the city limits as well, which is a bit of a shame. I don't like the idea of putting these types of things in um, commercial zones. Uh, not commercial, in industrial zones. But I do like the idea of dumping it right there. That, I think, could fit. It's like close to that roundabout. Check the power grid is divided. Where is the power grid divided? Let's go and have a look at this. Uh... Is it divided still? That's now joined back in. That's fine. Those are joined up. That's fine. There is no division of power grid. That's joined up over there. We'll have oil opening up at some point soon. 753 disconnected. I, how have I got disconnect? No, there is no disconnected power grids. Everything is all in together. And doing a really good job of it as well. I do not think you know what you're talking about, game. So look in here, rocket construction. We're about halfway done on that one, so we've got a little bit more to go. Uh, back to our monuments. we got one more here at the moment, the MAM Modern Art Museum. Um, another requirement for the fusion power plant. It's a visitor capacity of 300. This one here, the Cathedral of Plenitude. 30 different city service buildings. We've got 23 so far. And then the Theatre of Wonder is three universities. And then, oh, what's this one? See, and it's got to construct a harbour, and we can have that one as well. So let's take this building here. This is not a huge building. I was kind of wanting to put... Ooh, that goes long ways on. We can plonk that one right on there. And it will go right in there. That would be perfect. There. That one can go right there like that. Excellent. So now we've got a whole host of extra buildings. I've got everything that I've unlocked is all down in the city now. So it should be a really good, like, tourist attraction. There should be lots of tourists coming in. And then we've got various other buildings that we need. So 600 city service buildings. Uh, average garbage, 40. Two harbours. Uh, that's the, the, the service buildings. 15,000 children in elementary school. Seven cemeteries, uh, 30,000 of industrial, 30,000 residential, two airports, weekly education expenses, 30 grand, and uh, the, the last one is five cemeteries. Right. Let's stop on that. So, currently, we're gaining 21 people a week, which is not a great deal. I don't know why we're not gaining very many people. That's the second time the incineration plant has gone up in smoke. I'm sure that is very good, really. Let's have a look here. I mean, according to this, it's all good. There, there shouldn't be a problem with the incineration plant. Um, the biggest problem we got is Hawthorne Park in there. They, they, they're they looking pretty bad, actually. It's, it's looking pretty grim in there. But no, the, the actual... I mean, let's have a look at fire risk, I suppose. We could have a look at that one. Fire safety. It should be fine. So, I mean, the, why is the incineration plant keep going up in smoke? Genuinely have no idea on that one. I love this big building here. This thing is actually pretty cool. Uh, go to there. Have a look at that one. That is a big building. That is a very big building. That does actually look very, very cool. I like this one a lot. Uh, tourists last week, too. Apparently the tourists don't like it. Apparently the tourists are not as impressed as I am. That's fine. That's fine. They, they don't have to be impressed. What else have we got? We've got a building over here. What is this? Oh, this I think this is the science center. 
This one looks pretty cool, actually. And then we've got we've got the, the botanical gardens. I've got uh, the Statue of Liberty. Quite frankly, this is... Have you seen Minions? The, the original Despicable Me. Quite frankly, this has started to look a bit like his, um, his, his like garage type place. Uh, the, you know, the underground bit where he's got all of the different things. The, the Statue of Liberty, the, um, the pyramid. Um, they're all in there. Yeah, they're, they're all there. And yeah, this is what it's starting to look like. That is not great. Look at the traffic that we've got running through here. This is absolutely terrible, actually. Um, and I don't know what to do about it. I really, I'm, I'm really sort of running out of ideas as uh, what can I do about the absolutely horrific traffic that comes through here. Because it comes to here, it stops, it's, it's jamming up there. I really have no clue what to do about it. I mean, look at it. This, this is terrible. It's, it's not brilliant in a lot of spots, but some of these are really, really bad. And the, these seem to be the worst ones. Although, this has settled down a little bit now that I got rid of the industrial zone. So, yeah. It's, it's this bit here that's the worst bit. This is flowing a lot better now. But this here, this is definitely not flowing good. Average traffic flow 72%. And the trains are going out through. They're going fine. And then we've got this bridge that comes across here. And that runs out that way. Um, we've got them. They, they run up that way. And they, they, we don't really use this tunnel very much, do we? But no. What am, I, what am I supposed to do about this? This bit right here. I genuinely have no idea what I'm supposed to do about this. I'm thinking that I leave that tunnel and then I put another tunnel off of here so I remove that part of the intersection and I bring it down and I bring the tunnel up against the street down here so they move back into the middle of this area and then they can like run around and go wherever it is that they want to go for the rest of it thinking maybe we could try something like that I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean and then once we've done that, we do actually want to speed things up here a little bit. So I'm going to get rid of that and that as well. And then I'm going to go with this road and we're going to go... I'm going to keep it on one way. I don't think there's any point in having it not one way. Uh, I'll take that one and then I'll go from you down here. And I will drop down. Caution, slope too steep. Doesn't like that, but I can bring it back up a bit, and I can do it to there. So that is now dropping down under there, and I want that to go down a little bit further, so that it runs. I want it to come down, and I want it to come up to that point there, so I can bring it down here. If I bring it to, say, around about there, like that, then I could either put it into the middle of this one, Slope too steep. Yeah, we, we understand that. Or I could just lift it up right in the middle of there. So we end up with like an extra little piece. I don't think I want to do that. I think what I'd actually like to do is just get rid of that for a second. And then go with the road here and remove that road completely. Then go back to this one here. Take it off of there. Bring that up and put that one onto there so it comes up there like that and then I want to go back to this one and I want to take a road off of there this is going to be a dead straight line and that one is going to run straight to that point there so that we've still got some road that is being used on there that will the traffic can then sort of go back up round and onto there and this traffic here is going to come out onto this one it's one way so it'll all flow into that way and it's going to remove some of the load from here, I'm hoping. They'll either go out that way or they'll come out this way here. What have I got here? I've got one more bit. I've got a... What, what are you? What are you, actually? Why have you got a thing? Oh, police station. No road access. Uh, I'm going to move you. If you don't have any road access, I'm going to move you all the way back to there. It's your best road access, but... Thinking about it, where did I want to put the police station? Do I put the police station there? I could move it back a little bit. 
think really I want the police station. If I put the police station there, is that going to be better? I'm going to I'm going to put the police station in there. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but that's where it's gone. So that doesn't have road access. If I go back to here, I've now got commercial buildings. I will go low density and I'll put that in there. And we'll get rid of those houses there and we'll turn this into low density commercial buildings right there. Like that. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Right, so now I press this one. Some of these are going to disappear. Some of those are going to disappear as well. I've got all of this traffic here and look at it move. Some of this is trying to go the wrong... I don't know what that one's trying to do. Oh, he's just trying to change lane. So that is moving a little more thoroughly. I got that on tra Why is that on traffic lights? That shouldn't even be on traffic lights. You go to you. And then I want to go to junctions. And I'll take that off of traffic lights. And there can be a stop sign on that side. Take that off. And we're away again. Now, let's come back down this end and have a look down here. So, I've got... What's going on here? Why have I lost everything on that street there? That one doesn't really make any sense. Oh, it seems to have dezoned itself. I don't know why it dezoned itself, but it did. So, we'll, um, we'll undezone it. Like that. There. It might be because I removed the road and then I put the road back. So, that's how it ended up dezoning itself. Uh, that's fine. We, we, we can cope with that. So we've got traffic coming up there, traffic coming out here. Now, again, I've got a long road that comes out there. Do I want it to come up to here? Because this is, like, quite an important junction that I've got right here. And I want to make sure that this junction is working right. If I've got traffic lights on here, that should be all right. But how bad is the traffic lights going to get? I mean, look at this. It's already backing up through the tunnel most of the way up. But at least this is flowing a little bit better. I think all I've done is I've moved the traffic problems down here. So I need to take this road here and join it in on this side. It's going to be our next little bit. So I'll take that one and I will go from here straight across to here. Like that. Then I will take that one and I'll remove that one. That is gone. And then I will take this one and I will make sure that that is all industrial painted. It is all industrial painted. So I've removed that junction there completely. Get rid of that. Yeah, that's now gone. We've removed that one completely. And so we've now just got this three-way junction here. This one coming up through here. Is that the best use of our time? Because that's now coming up to this junction and it does come out that way. But really, maybe it would be better to go up here. That is traffic to turn left. If I, what have I got on that one? Is that a stop sign or is that a... Right, that's a stop sign. I think we want to change that over to traffic lights now. I think that would work better with traffic lights. This tunnel here doesn't really seem to be used very much. It is used a bit, but not very much at all. So if we've got stuff flowing up this way, that's one way out that way. That's one way out that way. I'm thinking that's not actually very good. How is the traffic the only way that traffic can get into this city? You now, well, it can come down here. Hang on. It flows down that way. There. Because that is... Right, that's one way. So traffic comes in here. And it runs down that way and it goes that way. It can also run up this street. And if it comes down there, it can go in here. And then it can run through. It comes out. And it all goes this way. Everything is moving in this direction. There's only one direction it can go. It can move down this way. And it can also move up that way. But once it gets to here, it's got to keep coming over. And then it's got to head up this way. And this stuff here, this can either go across that bridge or it heads out that direction. So most of it is being forced up here into this one. And then it has to go from there. And it can either go out round and back up into here, which goes that way. It's a very long way round, isn't it? I got my traffic going a very long way round. I'm just wondering if this here is particularly sensible. Now that I've got... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to change this over. Because I've got the traffic is like moving in a different direction now. Uh, I'll change that to two-way traffic. 
That can be either way. I don't think it's going to hurt anything having that as two-way traffic. That is still going to be one way up there. But now the traffic can come this way and it can come into the city through this direction. And that's what I tried to stop it doing last time, didn't I? I tried to stop it from going into the city. I wanted it to come up this direction. So maybe I could take that tunnel and instead of it coming out there, I bring it over this way and join it onto here so that it's like moving right out onto the freeway and then it's not really going to be an advantage, is it? I think I can just get rid of that tunnel. I don't think that tunnel is an advantage. I got a few bits of traffic using it, but not very much at all. If I come out of there and I go to this one and I show the route and I look here. I've got uh, pedestrians seem to use this one more than anybody else does. Uh, some trucks that come through and they go to the train station over here and yeah, I got one and then I got one that goes that way. There is not a great deal of traffic that is using this road at all. It's very, very limited. This one, it's a lot of traffic using that road. But because I got this road here, I think it is actually slowing things down. Because now look, I've got these the, the trucks there. The, the routes are so limited on this. They're, they're coming in and they are sort of route planning in order to use it a bit. But there's not much in a way that's using it. The Reed Tunnel. So they come up there. Some of them will come into here and they will move up through. If they don't, if they come in across this bridge, they come into here. And then in order to get to that train station, they've got to go along here, up that way, along and then back down again. So they've got to do a complete loop in order to get into the train station. Which might not be the best thing. That might be part of the big traffic issue that I've got. And I've got another train station down here. But it's a long way away. So maybe the answer to all of this is that I got too much coming in on that train station. All of this. It's like all this industrial traffic. Because that's flowing that way. This one here is two-way traffic. And this down here. This is all one-way traffic down here. What's this one? This is one way down here. I could put another train station right in here. I actually want to put it on that side so it's the right way around. And this is going to be our final task for things that we're going to do in today's episode. We're going to go into there and that one. And then I'm going to take a cargo station. And if I put said cargo station in there, I don't have enough room for it. Because it's going to be right on top of everything. So I need to put it on there, which means I'd have to change the direction of traffic flow right the way around this entire thing. So that they don't tangle each other up. It's because of the way that they come in. Because if you have a look at this one up here, the... The way they're flowing in and out of it is absolutely perfect. And I've got another one over here somewhere. That one is flowing exactly the same. They're moving in at the top side and they're moving out at the bottom side. And I think that that's something that I want to keep going. I want to be able to do that again. And in order to have that, I need the traffic to be moving in the right direction. And that isn't the right direction for it. I mean, maybe I could still do this. I could put that one down in there. And, yeah, we got this issue here. I need the... I'm going to have to delete that road right in the middle in order to get it to fit. I don't know if I can do that. I think I can. I can do that. Right. So let's get rid of... Let's go to you first. Toggle underground. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to go to you. I'm just going to pause this a second. I'm going to get rid of that one, that one, and that one down there like that. Then I'm going to go to you. And this is going to go right in here. Space already occupied with something. It's uh, something to do with the roads up there. Right, so we can put that one in there. That one right in the middle like that. Okay. Then I can take a train. And that one, a, a train, I can take a, a track. I don't really want that to go into the road. So I'm going to go page down straight away. And page down. Right, hang on a minute. In order to make this work, I've got to remove that one as well. And I can take that one. And that one can go down. It needs to go underneath. There. All right. Okay, we've we have gone underneath at least. We have we have gone underneath. And then I can bring this out. 
Like that. It should curve. Surely it should curve round. Apparently it doesn't... Oh, it does curve. You can just put like a, a sharp corner on it if you want to. Right, so I can bring that one up to there. And then I can bring that up to... Oh, hang on. It'll come up round that side. That's actually really cool. I didn't realize it would do that. And then the other one I want to do is... If I go there, I drop it down. I can put that one right onto there. And then... Is it going to work? There. Like that. Uh, I do want to have a look at how that track has joined together. Is that going to allow the trains to go in the right direction? So the only bit is I can't see if they are flowing very well. I, I don't think they are. I think I'm going to have to get rid of this. If I get rid of that one there and then I go to underground... I take that one, and I take a tunnel back here, and put you out like that. Uh, I can bring that up like that, I think. Yeah, that's that's now going to go in the right direction. Okay. So I'm bringing that one up there, and then join it in there like that. Okay. That one goes out that way. That one does flow round, and then that flows into this train station that we got in here. The other bit I want to come out of this end, and that one, I bring that down. That one's got to go uh, slope too steep. There, construction. Right, that will come down that way, and then I need to bring this one out over there. I've got a train station over here already, which I don't really want to join into. I want to just bring this one up to about that point there, so it'll loop in. And then I can put one of them up there. It should go up that direction. Like that. And then I want to get the other one to go out from there. Not like that. Definitely not like that. Right. Um, remove you. And remove that one off of there. Take that one. And then I take this one here and I need to lower it down. And I can put that one on there. And that'll go up there like that. Right. That should be all going in the right direction. Just lower this in again. Yeah. It looks like it splits in the right direction there. It doesn't come up around there. It allows the train to go in either direction from this point. And that's what I wanted to do. Let's bring that back up again. And I get rid of that. So I've now got a station in there, and it's also in the facing the right way for the traffic on here, which is what I want, because the traffic's going up in that direction there. So I've got a one-way street on here that is now got nowhere to one way. So in order to be able to move that one through without causing too many issues, uh, what have I got? I want to take this road, and we're going to take that road there which way did it need to go we want to go from here and we go like that and I'll bring that one up there take that to there well I don't really want it to yeah actually if I can if I can bring it up to about that point there I think we need to go over there and then onto there. Right, it is a little bit wavy and it's not brilliant, but it does the job. That's all we need it to. We need it to just do the job. So we can fill this back in with a bit of industrial land like that. We've got the one-way street moving the direction that it should go, haven't we? Is that one way moving which way it should go? I don't think that is actually. I think I need, I think I got the wrong one then. So let me take that and upgrade that. That's more like it. Right, so we can do that That's one way there and that one and that one and that's already upgraded so then i can go to there and then i can press play right so we have got all traffic moving where it should be we've also got a train station down here which i'm hoping will relieve some of the stress on the road up there because now the traffic will start using this one instead which is a good thing isn't it surely that's a good thing uh, it doesn't tell you what materials are, you know, how often they're being used. But, 
It's being used, and that's what counts. So we've got the traffic that's coming down there that's moving that way. And they are able to run down this way quite rapidly. We've got these buildings going up fast. They are expanding and improving. And then if we look in here, do we have any... Yes, there we go. Our first customer is just driven in. There's another one. He's coming out. He's driving in. We've got more of them going in and coming out. This is this is this is brilliant. They're all going in, and they're, they're, they're good depots. They're bringing in the goods. They're bringing in more goods, more and more goods. And you can hear all the dings going on around us. This is absolutely brilliant. Everything is flying upwards. All we've got to do now is start getting more people in here somewhere. Anyway, that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.